Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Let's Play FB Games, welcoming you to the third match of the Demo League and uh, today we have Inter Milan taking on Manchester City. So, without any further ado, we get on the way. Where is the kickoff? Where is my thing? Oh, I just did an Ultimate Team uh, draft game before I started recording this and this was, that was a sick team I had. I had Messi, Pedro, Benzema, uh, <laughs> Iniesta. All around good players, to be honest. So, what I do here is we're gonna go to the women. No, I'm joking. Um, I'm gonna go to Inter Milan. Thanks, guys, for reminding me. Don't remind me at all, terrible people. Anyway, um, Inter Milan is there. Manchester City is there. And uh, I suppose. I should just start it, shouldn't I? Because I can't really do anything. No, that's good. Doing the Bernabeu this time. Instead of a city thingy. Whatever it was. We should just free kicks and Miranda. I hope you guys don't mind. S scoring like it's nobody's business. He is swagging these free kicks, though, to be honest. Apart from that one. Oh, I got it covered, I got it covered. Just, just uh, there we are. Nope, over. Alright. Well, let's see. Just angle, angle it like that. Oh, you bollocks head. Alright, let's try this again. I can do this. Are you, f are you for real? No, last attempt. Because it's the last attempt, I'm much so loud. There we go. Please tell me I get a target score. Holy shit, I should get a target score. <laughs> oh my god, barely. Barely got to anyway, sorry. I'm a bit off course. Well this is a friendly match that we've got for you today. Martin Tyler here for you, Alan Smith is with me, and we're both really looking forward to hopefully giving you some insight into what happens before our very eyes. So anyway, I tried recording this earlier and it didn't work, so I'm giving it another go. Alan, I, was here for the 82 World Cup. I don't know why it didn't work, because you could hear my voice perfectly fine, but you couldn't see the game. So, the only people just want 15 minutes hearing my voice. Anyway, we've got some strong squads starting for both teams. I've only talked about Real Madrid, but Real Madrid aren't even in the game. Ready for the kickoff. Anyway guys, I can't wait to get FIFA 16. It probably won't be till Christmas, so I'm going to be doing this demo league up until... Well, up until it finishes, I suppose. I don't know if it'll finish before Christmas or after, but... I'm going to try, to do, try and do this demo league daily. Kolarov clearing it all the way to Murillo, although Guerrero doesn't get in... Before Marilla, maybe saw Vidic on the bench. Maybe he should have started Vidic, but it's into Martin's choice, I suppose. Kind of wish Vidic had stayed at Man United. He was a solid defender. Anyway, Palacios through early. He's messed up. Oh what? No ref. I hate Man City, but that wasn't a penalty. Fucking Mangala. That wasn't a penalty. Anyway, Cardi could have an early chance here, and it's. Saved by Joe Hart. Poor penalty by Icardi, and that was a good save. And we see Mr. Hernanez taking the corner. Straight to a uh, Man City player. Oh. Oh, shit. I just realised, um... In the last game I did, the, the one that recorded, but the gameplay, you couldn't actually see the game. Fernandinho scored one of the best goals I think I've ever seen on FIFA. It was a corner, and um, David Silva put it into the box. I can't remember who headed it out, but Fernandinho was about 25 yards out. He did this sick volley from the top right-hand corner of the box, and um, and went to the bottom left-hand corner of the goal, and it was actually really sick. About I don't know if you move, like if you move David like where that defender is. Uh, where the defender was. I'll I'll show you guys in a second when it happens again. Look at where this guy is. This one here. 
Uh, well, a little bit further back, but there. There we go. Anyway, Fernandinho's through again, talking of the boy. My my mind is not on this game, apparently. It's just from last game, because last game was actually really good. It was one all. Uh, yeah, Fernandinho scored an amazing volley, and then Icardi equalised with a nice little dinky dink over Joe Hart in the last game, but gameplay didn't come out, so I've had to redo it. And it sucks, dick. But, what do you know? it would probably be no goals this game, even though there was goals last game. Then again, it was only, I think it was 0-0 at half-time, I believe. Or was it 1-0 to Man City? I think Fernandinho's goal came in the first half. I actually can't remember. Anyway, Nasri, Tazabaleta, Yaya Toure, one of the best. I don't know how his rating has stayed the same, because he's actually overpowered as hell. See what I mean? Who's going to... Nope, no one. Aguero was trying to head that in, but it was nicely defensively cleared by either Murillo or Miranda. Shot corner to Nasri. And I, I, I bet they're going to fuck this up. Oh, no, they're not. Yaya Torre. Not, as, not, not anywhere near as good as Fernandinho's goal, but, I mean, it's a goal, and Manchester City are in the lead. I mean, really, it, it could have been one all if Akadi had buried that penalty, but... Look at that. A nice little ball in from Aguero. And all, all Yaratori had to do was make some contact to it, and uh, he did. Handanovic too slow to get to Yaratori's feet. It's one to Manchester City here at the Santiago Bernabeu, which is Real Madrid's stadium. If anyone who doesn't know, anyone who doesn't like, know about football. Don't know about, about anything about football. I don't know why you're watching this video, but if you are watching this video, then maybe you want to learn about football. Maybe you want to learn about FIFA. Maybe you just want to watch videos of random things. I don't know. And Montoya was through on goal there, the right back, and it's just half timed. So Manchester City go ahead at the break, and this is identical to last time, except it's a different goal scorer. Still the same scoreline as what was in the other game. And uh, Joe Hart, I thought, I thought that it was going to be a definite goal there, but then Joe Hart makes another save from long range. Handanovic saves Yaya Torre's shot, but couldn't save this one. So 1-0 at half-time, ladies and gentlemen, as you see, same shots for both teams. Both teams have had good chances. I mean, Inter Milan have only had one shot on target. Sorry, no, Manchester City have only had one shot on target, but they've buried it. So, Condogbia coming off and Tide coming on. So Manchester City are in the lead, thanks to a nice little goal from Yaya Torre, a tap in from about three yards, and now David Silva. Man City is straight on the attack already, and they're still attacking. Kolarov now picks up the ball from and left back. Nazri it's cleared away, and Mangala picks up the ball. It's not gone to any into Milan players from the clearance. Kolarov again. Uh, David Silva. Through to Sergio Aguero. Yaya Torre, and that's not Torre, that's Sterling, and that's a good defending clearance by Murillo. Kovacic coming off, and Shakiri coming on earlier in this game. Shakiri substituted on about 80 minutes last game, he's been on at 55 this game. That's yeah, interesting. Anyway, another set piece goal could have happened to Man City there. Man City have been a, a lot more dominant than they were in the other game. Anyway, Palacio. Bit late on the tackle there, I thought so myself. And it looks like Torres coming off. Oh no, Sterling and Fernandinho coming off. Navas and Fernando coming on. Zabaleta, is he going to play it short? Is he going to cross it in? He's going to play it short to Fernando. He's going to one to it and another pass back to Fernando. Into Yaya Torre. Yaya Torre, the beast, not getting through. And it comes out to Palacio. Icardi, Medel, I believe, through there. Not Shakiri, sorry. Signed from Bayern Munich in the summer transfer window. Zabaleta, Jesus Navas, up to David Silva, his Spanish teammate. Through to Sergio Aguero, top goal scorer from the Premier League last season. Torre is in space, but Aguero can't find space to make the pass. Nasri, maybe better to go to the byline and cross that in, but nonetheless, Aguero gets the ball back. And I thought, I actually thought it was an Aguero shot. If Aguero had shot that, I would have cried. But that was good defending there by Inter Milan, though. And uh, 
What the fuck? Man City just went drunk in the box there. If you saw like three Man City players fall over. Um, I don't even know if that made proper English sentence sense. I don't know. I'm tired. But I think it's going to be 1-0 this game. It was 1-all in the last game, but I think Manchester City may have just clinched it. Although, Medell leading the attack now. Palacio, Icardi, back to Medell. Nice triangle pass in there. Hernanes. Shakiri found space here. Needs to get around to Abaleta. He has done. Oh, he's completely done him. And Hernanes with a good header. Forcing the save out of Joe Hart. And as we try to keep it in, but it's going for an interman corner. We'll see this again. A header by Hernanes, a nice save by Joe Hart. Good reactions. Anyway, Jekko coming off for Aguero. I thought Jekko got sold. Turns out he didn't. Either that or he did on the deadline day. And he's not quite been moved across yet. Anyway, Icardi trying to header. Miranda <gasps> off the line clearance. I don't know who that was by, but Manchester City are going to fucking thank them at the end of the game. Although Medell may. Breakthrough, oh my god, into Milan. Bombarding uh, the goal of Manchester City. I don't know who that player was who shot that. It could have been um, Shakiri or Akadi, I'm not sure. But Joe Hart's going to take the goal kick, and we've got five minutes left of the game, ladies and gentlemen. You see there, 86 minutes played. Got Akadi. Medell now in a good position. Throwing it through to Palacios. Palacios, Palacio, and uh, it's going to be one all again, guys. Palacio equalising in the last minute. That was a good shot from to say that it was bl being blocked by Zabaleta there. Zabaleta tried to stop him from taking a shot, but Palacio has finessed that into the bottom right-hand corner past Joe Hart, and that's going to be a heartbreak for Man City. Man City need to try and make a last-ditch attack here if they want to win this match here at the Bernabeu. Not with passes like that, they're not going to Shakiri. And it could still happen for Inter Milan. The victory could still be there. Like, if this does end the draw, guys, I'm not going to do penalties again. I'm not going to put a penalty score in the description, just saying. Uh, but it might not end the penalties. Fernando. Nasri, they need to hurry up this attack if they're wanting a goal. David Silva is passing around outside the box now, and that's going to be it. Kolarov. And that is it. So it's one all, guys. I'm not going to do the penalty shootout. I'll do it off screen, but I'm not going to tell you the score. It's going to be one all here. Santiago Bernabeu into Milan, equalising in the 88th minute. We'll see the highlights here. Joe Hart with a penalty save. Remember that at the beginning of the game? I do. And we remember this save here as well. That was an easy save. But Yaya Torres goal. Nice little tap in. Hernanes came pretty close with that. It was Hernanes. I never said. I didn't think I said it was Hernanes, but nonetheless, Palacio. With a nice little equaliser, and that's going to do it, guys. Uh, we'll take a little quick look through the stats here. We've got one goal for both teams. We've got seven shots for Inter Milan and two for Man City. Six shots on target by Inter Milan and one for Man City. Man City got completely dominated that game. I'm surprised Inter Milan didn't actually win the game. 46% possession for um, Inter Milan. My mind just went blank there. 54% for uh, Manchester City. Seven tackles by Inter Milan, three from uh, by Man City. Foul each for both teams. No cards, no injuries, no offsides. Two corners for Inter Milan, three for Man City. For the shot accuracy and pass accuracy, Inter Milan got 85 for shots, 84 for pass. Man City got 50 for shots and 80 for pass. So uh, Inter Milan did perform better in that game. I'm surprised they didn't win. But anyway, guys, this has been Let's Play FB Games with Match 3 of the Demo League, and I'll see you later for another game, which I think will be River Plate versus Real Madrid. That might be a bit of a thrashing, but we'll see.